Hello guys, Nuno Fix here. <laughs> well, this is not a good one, but yeah, that's a bit funny. Uh, but this will go, I will I have to leave this link for the dealer for you see this and for you see what car he sold to me. But the full video of the story will be soon online. Okay, let's start from it. So I bought a car, I bought a Ford Fiesta, a red Ford Fiesta 2016. Uh, yeah, my cat is waiting for something. 2016. Uh, for my girlfriend, uh, well, the day, the day of the test drive, we have the, the TPM sensor straight away come on. Uh, the message was, sh was saying they cannot, the computer cannot detect, detect the sensor, which, okay. Then I was testing them when I get home. And there's a more story about this car, but let's go to this sensor because this video is for him. Uh, so this is what was inside the car. Okay, inside the wheel, I mean. So, okay, this one is original from Ford. Yeah, I don't know if you can see but the lighters from Ford there. You probably know. And this one you can read better. Yeah, original from Ford. So this one is original from Ford. This one, God knows where this one came from. Uh, I don't know what brand is this, but well. And now you ask, well, you have only three wheels in your car? No, I have four. But I will show you what sensor I got in one of the wheels. That's what I have in one wheel. So the, the, the clever man or whatever who was did this job. So I got three sensors and then you just decide whatever, who was the company because bear in mind, they fit tire for the MOT. Uh, yeah. And I believe this was them anyway. It probably was, if, if this guy will watch this video. Yeah, it probably was you, mate. I don't know, but this is odd. Okay. How the hell you sell a car to a customer? Like that okay if this sensor there and then the worst case scenario as well is another thing which the guy straight away on the shop said you need to do that is this so the MOT of this car said they tr they changed the track rod end because it was bad they even didn't bother to make the tracking on the car which this the dealer will pay for it because I got the invoice already on the printer to scan and this is after the shop complete all the job, which looks lovely. But this was before. Russell, if you are listening to me, if you are watching this video, come on. This is too much. Yeah. And I just hope I get my money back from all the parts I bought so far, because I'm still waiting for it. Um, because look, all the evidence is here. And plus more, you got more paperwork in your, like the clutch. I have to replace it. I didn't replace it yet because I don't have time. I will do Friday night, which the clutch is not good. It's slipping. Yeah. So, and there's more things wrong with this car. I will go in more detail soon. But yeah, this is how, oh, it, what was inside the wheel, which I'm frustrated. And bear in mind, he was a screw in the wheel as well. And I don't did drive this car much, but he was a screw on it, which I will put the pictures on another video. What did happen? Okay, Russell, so this video is for you, if you're watching. It will be much better if I put a link and then you can watch the video and you can see how this is. I don't know if you see the car. I don't know who done the work the car, but this car have more history on it, which I will provide another video for my channel soon. And we go from there. And of course, if I get all the payments, all the parts, everything you have to pay for, like I still waiting for some payment from you. And now from this, your uh, garage will be private. Adam will state in the video who you are, but this is more for the people see to be careful with the, the um, how they call to the dealers. Because come on, I paid 6,700 pounds for this car. Yeah, it's a lot of money. And this is what I went up with, which I'm not happy with that. Yeah. And I don't have time to go around the shops and even I'm helping you out because I get another shop to put the sensors for me and did, uh, did the tracking even cheaper than Ford because Ford will be more expensive. But come on, you cannot, you cannot let this go like that, can you? Come on, Russell. Well, we need to sort this out. You need to speak with your garage people and then get this sorted because so far I see lots of things wrong with the car and this is not nice for a person who paid the money for the car. The money you ask for was paid for and like what we got.